The sign overlooking the penal colony where Alexei Navalny died a week ago tomorrow reads, happiness is not far away. The same cannot be said about the truth of what happened here. Russian officials initially said he'd suffered from, quote, sudden death syndrome. And now the gradual torture of his mother and his family, drip-fed information by officialdom. His mother has spent a week here inside the Arctic Circle, trying to at least locate her son's body. Yesterday, she was brought to see it in a morgue about 30 miles from the prison where he died. Yesterday in the evening, they secretly drove me to the morgue and showed me Alexei's body. The investigators claimed that they know the reason of death and that they have all the medical and legal documents ready. I have seen them and I have signed the medical death certificate. Team Navalny said that natural causes were cited on the certificate as the cause of death, but this was him appearing in court via video link just last week. Ludmila Navalny broadcast her message on her late son's YouTube channel, like mother, like son, in more ways than one. She went on to say that Russian investigators had threatened her. If she didn't agree to a secret funeral, they would dispose of the body, she said. I'm recording this video because they started threatening me. Looking me in the eye, the investigator said that if I don't agree to a secret funeral, they will do something with my son's body. The investigator openly told me, time is not working for you. The corpses decompose. I don't want special conditions. I just want everything to be done according to the law. I demand receiving my son's body immediately. In a parallel, more tropical universe, the Russian foreign minister was at the G20 summit in Brazil. A chorus of leaders have described Navalny's death as an assassination. Sergei Lavrov described reaction among Western leaders to the death as hysterical. Britain has imposed sanctions on senior officials in the Russian penal system. More sanctions expected to be announced by the US and EU in the coming days. Back near the wrong side of the Arctic Circle, Another opposition leader in another penal colony appeared in court via video link today. Vladimir Karamurza, a British-Russian dual national, is serving a 25-year sentence on treason charges. Use this moment to urge Russian opposition not to give up after the death of Navalny. Ahead of a national celebration of the Russian armed forces tomorrow, Vladimir Putin co-piloted a nuclear bomber today, dubbed the White Swan. Saturday marks the second anniversary of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, with Russian gains as of late. Then next month, presidential elections in Russia, which he will win. For a man who can't fly this plane, looks very comfortable in the cockpit.